warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning, my students. How are you today? Morning, Miss. I'm fine, thank you. And you? Good morning to Miss. I'm fine, thank you. And you? Okay, I'm very well. Before we start all lesson today, let's pray together. Previously, I will check your attendance. Okay. Putri. Present, Miss. Amel. Present, Miss. Are you ready to study English? Yes, Miss. We are ready. Okay. Let's sing together. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. How are you? Just fine. Good morning, everybody. How are you? Just fine. Good morning to you. Good morning to me. Good morning, everybody. How are you? Just fine. Selamat pagi semua, apa kabar? Baik, selamat pagi semua, apa kabar? Baik, selamat pagi untukmu, selamat pagi untukku Selamat pagi semua, apa kabar? Baik Now, I want to ask for you um, Have you ever given opinion from others? Maybe for some people or your friends? Of course, miss me too, me. Okay, what to give an opinion from others? Maybe for maybe for social life, daily life, or whatever. I usually give an opinion about social life, miss. For example, neighborhood in my hometown. Yes, I usually give an opinion to my friends because she asked me to give opinion about her clothes. Okay, let's see on LCD. What is asking and giving opinion? Please raise your hand. Miss, asking opinion meminta pendapat. Giving opinion memberikan pendapat, Miss. Okay, let's see on LCD. Can you analyze what the mean of the picture? There are three boys. And can you explain... Uh, for me, what is the meaning of the picture? Maybe it just like bullying. I think it just like bullying. Okay, very good. So, what do you think about bullying? I think bullying is an act of hurting physically or verbally and an attitude that is carried out continuously. Okay, how about you, Amel? Bullying, for example, like mocking, isolating, and fooling, or other right behavior, right behavior, and pastinya bullying is very dangerous for the development of children in the future. Okay, now please open your book, page 18. Please read about textbook asking and giving opinion in your book, but if you don't have book, you can together with your friends. Okay, let's see in your book, there are conversation about two persons about asking and giving opinion between Siti and Jen. Why are you looking so sad? I was reading an opinion article on bullying. It made me extremely sad. Ah, oh, people like to exaggerate things. Bullying as such is not big deal. No, I don't think so. Bullying is prevalent in our society. It is important that everyone should be made aware of this social evil. I don't agree with you. Little bit teasing here and there is acceptable. I am the opinion that no one has any right to harass or make people feel inferior. No one should have that kind of power. Oke, okay, jadi di dalam buku ini terdapat dua percakapan antara Jen and Siti mengenai tentang asking and giving opinion. So, what is asking opinion? Asking opinion is a sentence which when you want to ask someone to get information. Jadi, asking opinion ini artinya ketika kita ingin meminta pendapat kepada orang lain. Adapun di asking opinion ini terbagi menjadi dua, formal dan informal. 
untuk contoh formal situation itu seperti have you got any comments on do you have any idea do you have any opinion formal situation are used in a situation you are talking in a formal situation such as in office or school maybe uh, between teacher or student artinya formal situasi artinya situasi yang formal untuk digunakan seperti di kantor ataupun sekolah dan bisa juga digunakan untuk uh, ketika kita ingin menanyakan kepada guru kita ataupun orang yang lebih tua daripada kita informal situation like what do you think of what do you think about what is your opinion nah ini berbeda dengan formal situation informal situation digunakan ketika kita ingin menanyakan kepada uh, teman kita ataupun teman dekat kita artinya yang sudah sama-sama kita mengetahuinya and then giving opinion artinya memberikan pendapat such as in my opinion I personally believe I tend to think that it is my comment dan lain-lain do you understand? of course miss any question? please raise your hand miss I want to ask something What is the purpose of asking and giving opinion? Okay, very good. So, the purpose of asking and giving opinion is when we want to ask someone or giving opinion for someone, uh, we can get information based on their say. Nah, jadi uh, tujuan dari asking and giving opinion ini artinya kita bisa memberikan pendapat atau mendapatkan informasi dari orang lain entah itu kita menanyakan atau memberikan pendapat itu sendiri okay any more question miss i want to ask mm, how about given opinion but in formal situation okay very good giving opinion for informal situation is same like formal situation But giving opinion for informal situation such as I think I like it, I think it's good, nice, terrific, I don't think I care for it, dan lain-lain. Okay, let's look at the sentence structure to express opinion. Uh, there are verb, agree, believe, reckon, doubt, assume. Don't agree and think. Artinya, ini adalah kata kerja yang bisa kita gunakan untuk memberikan pendapat atau menanyakan pendapat. And then, when we want to give an opinion, we can using personal point of view. Artinya, menggunakan cara pandang atau sudut pandang kita sendiri. For example, what I mean is, in my opinion, I would like to point out that. Selain bisa menggunakan point of view, kita bisa menggunakan general point of view, artinya uh, sudut pandang secara umum, contohnya seperti most people don't agree almost everyone some people say that so, for agreeing with an opinion, artinya menyetujui pendapat, contohnya of course, this is absolutely right I agree with this opinion I agree with your opinion dan lain-lain And for disagreeing with an opinion, artinya menolak atau tidak menyetujui pendapat, such as I'm sorry, I don't agree with you. I can say I agree with this, and here's why. Dijelaskan kenapa alasannya seperti itu. Do you understand? Of course, Miss. Now, Putri, can you read the example where the sentence consists asking opinion? What do you think of my new house, miss? Any more? How do you feel about Andrea Hirata's novel? And then, how about giving opinion? I think it's going to rain. Are there disagreeing opinion? I don't think so. I want you to analyze the general, functional, and dominant language better on the picture okay miss yes miss based on we have discussed uh, about language pictures on the poster using present tense and then the poster draw about violence against children in my opinion 
It Contradicting Undang-Undang Nomor 23 Tahun 2002 tentang Perlindungan Anak. Okay, Miss. Okay, can you come to front of the class? You guys, give applause to your friends. <laughs> Amel, what do you think about violence against children? I think violence against children it is very terrible. Actually, I feel sorry for the children those who experience violence. Yes, me too. Do you know undang-undang which govern child protection? It is set in undang-undang nomor 23 tahun 2002 tentang perlindungan anak. And what is your opinion about impact of violence against children? In my opinion, it will impact of their psychology. Maybe he will be someone who is quiet, vindictive, etc. And that will also have an impact on their mental development. Thank you, Amel, for your information. Hopefully, there is, isn't any more a violence against children. Okay, thank you, Putri and Amel. Give applause to your friends. Okay, my student, are you enjoying this morning? Yes, miss, we are enjoying this morning. And I will give you homework. Can you make example conversation about two person again about asking and giving opinion topic dan temanya terserah kalian and don't forget to call it me for next meeting yes miss okay guys i think it's enough wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Are you ready to study English? Okay, let's sing together. Good morning! Ay, ilah. Okay, if you don't have... So based on we have discussed the language features or the 